good morning. It is 5.56 in the morning. Let's go for a walk. Come on guys, look at the moon this morning. Holy cow. You know what we do, let's look at the gas prices for today. Right now, $1.75. Seriously, look at that moon. It makes coming out every single morning worthwhile just to see that. Hey everyone! Alright, I'm back from the walk. I'm showered. Now I got a shaved head and a shaved face. I know. But the walk was interesting today. I, I woke up at 4.30 this morning and was debating on whether or not I should go back to sleep or go for a walk. And as soon as I had that thought in my head, my eyes just went bloop. And I was like, well, I guess I'm going on a walk. Got ready. Uh, whenever I left, I was feeling it. Oh, it was great. I was just like, I could do a million miles today. Like, uh, it just, my body was loving it. Uh, there's a couple of areas that I do like laps in. I did multiple laps in it. Everything was going great. And now I'm headed home. I'm doing a longer walk than I typically do or that I've been doing in the exact same amount of time. So I'm all excited. And as I'm getting close to home, I look up and there's police that have blocked off the entire street. And I start looking around going, okay, cars can't go through. Am I able to walk through this? And that's when I saw the giant power line <laughs> dangling all through the road decided to, um, you know, not chance it and walk underneath it. So I had to get on um, Google Maps and start looking for an alternative route. Now, the fun thing is, these are all neighborhoods. Uh, the neighborhoods have an entrance and the giant complex that's all walled off and the exit is literally right beside to the entrance. So there was really no way for me to cut through a neighborhood here. So I figured out a way to get around it. It was an extra mile and a half, maybe two miles added to my typical walk. So when I got home, I was pretty much done. I laid on in my bed. I was expecting to fall right asleep, but it didn't happen. Then uh, started playing on my phone. And then that's when I was like, you know what? I, I need to be productive and hopped in the shower. I've been doing a little bit of cleaning. I've been keeping in contact with some friends. Uh, and now I'm vlogging for you guys. So that's what my day's been so far today. Uh, but with weight loss, we're on that subject. We talked about food yesterday. Uh, the other question I had whenever I started was supplements. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. I did a lot of research on supplements. Now, I am not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist. Uh, I'm going to show you what's been working for me, but uh, please consult your physician. Do your own research. Just don't do what I tell you to do, okay? So, uh, multivitamins. That was, of course, one of the first things that I don't take a multivitamin, or I used to not take multivitamins. I knew that was something I probably should start doing. Uh, and I went and just got a typical tub of pill-formed multivitamins. Uh, some days I would be very good in taking it, and other days I would completely forget. So I, of course, was on YouTube watching some motivation stuff and was looking up uh, different supplements and things I should be taking every day and doing some research. And a gentleman, uh, obese to beast, uh, was talking about supplements. 
One of the things he said that stuck out to me was that he does vitamins in gummy form. Because in the morning, you get excited to eat something that's a gummy versus taking something in a pill form. And that just resonated with me. And I was like, you know what? I would love to eat gummies for breakfast in the form of vitamins. Like how awesome is that? So I, I went out and bought a tub of gummy form vitamins. Some of the other research I've done, I've realized that gummy vitamins are actually really, really good for you versus taking it in that swallowable pill because the pill doesn't fully digest in your system and a lot of times they, you just poop it out. Uh, so with a gummy, you chew it up and it fully digests. So there we go. Gummy vitamins. I take two a day. Uh, this is the brand for BJ's Wholesale. So that's what I take right there. The other thing uh, that everyone told me was very important uh, was fish oil, because that's gonna help you out with joints, especially because I do a lot of walking and uh, a lot of exercise now. So uh, if I was going to do gummies in vitamin form, I should get gummy fish oil as well. So these are my two gummies. I get two of these and I get two of the multivitamins every single day and it, it's like a treat. I love it. All right, so the next thing uh, was a probiotic. Talked to my friend Dawn about it and she grabbed me, took me to Target and showed me the brand I should be buying. Did a lot of research after I bought it. Dawn knows her stuff and the brand she showed me I need to get is the exact brand I needed to get. Uh, so. Here we go, this is Garden of Life Probiotics. This is what I use. It is the with the, the Mood Daily Care, because the research I did said this is the best for weight loss. Now, this does not make you lose weight. You guys get that? Does not make you lose weight. There is no miracle pill, nothing like that. But what it does do is it just, if you're doing everything correctly, helps the process a little. That's if you're doing everything correctly. So, we got multivitamins, we got fish oil, we got probiotics. The next thing I was curious about was some sort of super greens. Uh, super greens is like a, a, your fruits and vegetables in a powdered form that you basically mix in water and drink it every day. So I did a lot of research on that and I found the one I wanted. The one I wanted for a 30-day supply was $100. And I'm not doing that. And once again, watching Obese to Beast, one of the things he kept mentioning was, you're going to get into this rut of, well, I need the best. And if I can't afford it or I don't want to buy it, I'm just not going to lose weight at all. I'm just going to go back to my old ways. So why not just buy something that's cheaper. It might not be the best out there, but it's better than not doing it at all. So uh, went to Target and found uh, it's green superfood. It's done by Amazing Grass. The first time I did a scoop of this and I just put it in water, mix it around. Okay, the first time I did this tasted horrible. Oh my gosh, I was like, what did I buy? don't like this, but I could immediately tell the difference. Immediately. I had more energy, I felt better, and I was like, okay, that's interesting. Uh, so I went to it the next day, the next day, taste got a little better. And as I've been doing it, the taste is just amazing to me now. So uh, I've been doing this for about a year. Amazing grass. Super green, green superfood. I've, I think I've put a couple of other people on this as well. This has really helped me out. Now, it is your, it's your daily greens uh, plus nutritious fruits and veggie, veggies for health. Uh, one scoop, one stir, one smile. Uh, this does not replace your fruits and vegetables. When you get this, or if you get something like it, know that you still have to eat your fruits and vegetables every single day. This does not replace it. All right.
but it's in powdered form. It gets in your body a lot quicker. Love it a lot. So the other thing is I was looking at <laughs> my immune system. Because uh, when I was really, really heavy, I got sick a lot. Now, the last time I was in Kentucky, and when I got to Dawn, I was sick. And I called her up before I took off, and I said, so you know, I'm sick. And she goes, awesome, I got the cure all of cures. And I went there, and I was on DayQuil and NyQuil, and nothing was working. And she did two things. She did gave me one gummy, that's an elderberry gummy, and then had me sip on elderberry tea. The next morning, I was 100% like I wasn't sick at all. So, elderberries. I keep this around whenever I start feeling the little sniffle or any kind of allergies or a cold might be coming on, and then I start taking these. Uh, because of COVID-19, I'm taking one every single day right now just to help out the immunity system and uh, there are the immunity, the immune system uh, and hopefully uh, keep us all nice strong. But whenever you're looking at buying all this, please remember you don't have to have the best. You don't have to have the most expensive. Sometimes the cheap stuff is just fine. And that's the big thing I want you to take away when you're looking for supplements and all that. Also, do your research before you go out to buy, because if you go to any of those GNCs or uh, stores that basically do nothing but sell supplements, uh, the employees there are there to sell you something. And everything's going to be amazing, and you're going to spend hundreds of dollars for products that you just don't need. So please do your research and know what you want before you start going out and buying. All right, so that's what I got for you guys today. April 11th is just a couple of days away. And that's a big day. And I'm excited you're uh, hanging out with me for it. So uh, I got a really cool vlog planned for us tomorrow. Remember, Instagram, Jeff on YouTube, and uh, subscribe and like. Have a great day, everyone. Be safe out there. Bye.